on the left, far left, this is a deal for DeJounte Murray mainly, as well as A.J. Griffin from the Atlanta Hawks. The Lakers will be given up. Rui Hachimura gave Vincent Jalen Hood Shafino the 2025 first round pick and the 2030 first round pick for basically DeJounte Murray, who currently is on a four year, $25 million deal. Hank, does that sound like a go or a no for the Lakers? AJ Griffin. I mean, the only person that I like giving up is Rui. Um, but you need him though. Yeah. Dejounte wouldn't help the Lakers. Though. Yeah, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I do it. The Jeremy Grant know. though, the Jeremy Grant trade though, I like that. I like that. So, Jeremy yeah, yeah, I like Jeremy Grant. So BA Jer- Jeremy Grant from Portland, currently on a four-year, $30 million deal, you would give up Rui and Gabe straight up, no draft picks for Jeremy Grant? 100%. He's for what great. reason? Um, I feel like... He's better than Rui? He's going to yeah. be there longer, so I'll give him that, but is he better than Rui? Yes, yes. He's, he's, better, he's better than Rui, and he's more consistent and... He is a player that I know that is proven that can average. He can get. He's going to average eighteen or better on your friend, on your team. Yeah, and you can say twenty. I'm I'm being safe with the eighteen because if you're playing with LeBron, it's going to go down yeah. a little bit. So uh, eighteen or better, and then on top of that, I feel like uh, I feel like he is a Rui is a good player, but pressure moments is when he disappears and Jeremy Grant has showed me on multiple different occasions with multiple different franchises. He don't care about the lights. He don't. That's why he makes $30 million a year. And he played with a superstar. Yeah. Left no, before the game. Yeah. Who? Ja- who he would he play with? Joker. He played with Joker. And that's, Denver, when I, that's right. Yeah. That's when I saw him and he went to my Pistons and, um, did a, did a good job or they got hurt a little bit though, but then um they still was balling. The last trade option, fellas, that I had available. Um, this is a trade between the Lakers and the Chicago Bulls, where we are again packaging Rui Hachimura, Gabe Vincent, uh Jalen Hushafino, those three contracts, along this time with Jared Vanderbilt, the first round pick for 2025 and 2028. This is a full plate in exchange. For Zach Levine, who's on a three-year, $43 million deal, and the return of Alex Caruso, who's currently on a one-year, $10 million deal. So if you do make this trade, Alex basically is good for one year, and you might be overpaying Zach Levine. Is this a no or go for you, B.A.? No, because I don't trust Zach Levine's health. Uh, Alex Caruso, one year that he might end up bouncing whatever for whatever reason. And then I, it's, t- it's, it's about time that the Lakers start thinking about the future and stop mortgaging off their first round picks for players uh, for these big chances. They got, they've been doing this since LeBron's been there and is one championship in five, uh, five or six years. That's kind of crazy. It's good, but it's kind of crazy because they haven't been back since. So you're mortgaging the future for possibly maybe an attempt because the Lakers are going to need more than Zach Levine and, and Alex Caruso to to win a championship. Yeah, I agree. Unless, if, unless Zach has shown he was the star that he's supposed to be, then it'd be worth it. Yeah, if he yeah. was Donovan Mitchell, heck yeah, do this deal. Oh, yeah. Donovan Mitchell, I, I would go with Donovan Mitchell over Zach Levine any day because I feel like he's way more proven and he's been in the league shorter a shorter time too than Zach Levine and has proven himself constantly each year in and year out. Are you giving up all of this, all of these, if you want to call it assets? Are you giving up Rui, Gabe, Jarrett, J- Jalen, and these two first round picks for just Donovan Mitchell straight up? Are y'all willing to go that hard? No, no, no. I'm saying if, if if you could swap out Levine and have Mitchell there and with Caruso, heck yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, they on I'm, how that happens. They ain't on the same team. No, I'm just and saying three-way the trade player, the, the the type of player. Nah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, I mean, we talking well, as far as the reality though, like, okay, if we y'all been high on wanting to get Donovan Mitchell, so you see what would you what would you be willing to give up for Donovan? 
I'm not trading Vanderbilt. I'm not giving away under Vanderbilt. no circumstances at all. He's too like I know he hurt, but defensively, and he's starting his shooting is the shooting you see each season is getting better as well. So he can become a three and D player one day, hopefully soon. And then the first round and the first round draft picks hurt the franchise. They are that's that hurts. I'm not giving up no first round draft picks right now. I'm sorry, I cannot even for Donovan Mitchell. Salute to him, but I can't do it. Well, as you can tell, fellas, this doesn't involve that two that 17th pick this season in the draft. So they could keep these pieces that BA are alluding to and still use that 17th pick to really chase something special. Yep. So that could be a possibility. But realistically, from what we see on the screen, everything is a no, with the exception of the Jeremy Grant trade. You guys are interested in that one. Definitely. Yeah, he canceled like he cancels both of them out. And uh it gives uh what's my guy? Uh what's my guy? Uh is it Christie? Max uh, Christie gives him more opportunity and you don't more. lose no draft, you you lose no capital. Exactly no draft Facts. You, can get, you can get Jeremy and then package something else to get another star. Mm. I like it. I like it. For the latest and greatest on your Los Angeles Lakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we appreciate the support. Follow us on social media at Lakerland Show and join our Playback TV room for our free VIP access to our Lakers watch parties. And of course, the Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakerland.